Question number six is another question from gravitation and there is a slight modification from the regular feature. Ek sun earth system di gai hai and there is a rocket and the question has specifically said that the rocket is to be launched in a direction opposite to that of sun and along the line joining the sun and earth that has been categorically said by the question just come in a figure ke form mein dikha diya hai. mass of the sun is given so many times mass of earth and the distance between earth and sun is given to be this much times the radius of earth additionally for the sake of calculation simplicity escape velocity ke value di gai hai from the earth's surface which is so much kilometer per second now what is the question let's see the minimum vs required for the rocket to be able to leave the sun earth system is close s2 or yahan par ignore rotation and revolution of earth diya gaya hai agar ye terminology nahi hota then the calculation would have been painfully difficult because in that situation the effect of rotation where the velocity of rotation and the direction of the launch fir revolution ke effect mein the escape velocity from the sun system everything had to be considered just go third cosmic velocity bhi bola jata hai but that thing is to be neglected straight way this is being asked so let's try to see a uh, question of conservation of energy when it escapes and when it reaches infinity minimum kaha gaya to iski jo velocity hai infinity mein that would be just equals to zero so straight way using energy conservation one half m v s square would be equals to minus g or this would be plus here mass of earth mass of satellite by the radius of earth right here and the potential energy between this rocket and the sun will have a distance of you see small r plus capital r but lekin small r plus capital r can be very properly written as small r with a minute error and that error would be tolerable because you just see the distance and that would make the calculation simpler so plus g mass of sun the mass of rocket to be launched divided by small r now it seems a bit difficult question lekin the values have been very technically given and in fact the question in jee do not demand very typical calculation calculation wise these are easier or agar difficult hote then certain hints would be given certain clues would be given so that the calculation would be easier now i'll just show you vs square would be 2 g m e by r e and here would be g the mass of sun would be 3 into 10 raised to the power 5 times mass of earth by small r which is given 2.5 into 10 raised to the power 4 times re now one thing what we can do is that we can take common root gm by re and the value root 2 gm e by re is nothing but the escape velocity so look at the calculation ease that has been given and when we solve this there is no any difficulty level a straight forward calculation hai और जब ये कैलकुलेट करते हैं, द आंसर विल बी वेरी क्लोज टू दिस 42 किलोमीटर पर सेकंड। सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स वुड बी ऑप्शन सी आगे बढ़ते हैं फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन द लास्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ सेक्शन वन और ये एक बहुत स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड क्वेश्चन है फ्रॉम मैग्नेटिज्म given a symmetric structure hai with 12 edges this vertex to this vertex distance is 4a yani circum radius would be 2a or for this given current i we have to calculate the magnetic field at this point let's see i'll take one segment so here is that particular segment this is the center this distance is 2a with a very slight difficulty you can easily figure out this distance would be equals to a now 
if I connect this line, this angle would be 30 degree, this would also be 30 degree, and this would be 120. So quite obviously 120 here, 60 here, 90 here, so this has to be 30 degree. And now I need to calculate the magnetic field at this point. Let me use the bio savets law, and that would be mu naught i by 4 pi a. The larger angle from this point is 60 and the smaller is 30. There are many possible methods to calculate. Let me go with respect to this particular angle. That is due to one segment. Or aisa hamare paas 12 segments hai. So due to all those 12, we'll have to multiply it by 12. So that factor is required. And now it comes out to be a very easy calculation that would match with option number A. So option number A would be the correct option for question number 7. Now it's time to move to section 2 starting from question number 8.